My name is Roger Oyster. I'm the principal trombone player in the Kansas City Symphony. And this is a trombone! And I'm going to talk to you today about something that only trombones can do in the orchestra. Well, the only brass instrument anyway. And it's called glissing. Now, when most brass instruments want to change pitches, they mainly push down valves or move little levers. When they do, it puts a, makes the horn a little bit longer by adding tubing to it. But we just have one big slide. In fact, when we train, when we put the slide out the entire way, look how long it is! Oh my gosh! And so we change pitches by moving the slide and by making the, the horn longer or shorter, we change pitch. <laughs> But, because we have this one big slide, there is something that we can do that other instruments, other brass instruments can't do. And it's called glissing. I'm just buzzing on my lips into my mouthpiece and keeping my air going and then moving the slide so I get all the pitches in between the regular pitches. And that's something that is unique to being a trombone player. And composers, when they really want to be clever, often put that into trombone parts for special effect. In fact, I'm going to play you a solo from a very famous piece of music that uses glisses. It was by a really well-known American composer named Aaron Copeland. And the piece is called Buckaroo Holiday. And he wrote a solo uh, with glisses in it that depicts a cowboy who is having, well, let's just say, a little too much fun. Here it is. And that's how you glisten on the trombone.